Hello friends. In this video we will learn about four spheres of the earth. Our earth is a unique planet because it has all those things which make life possible. We are able to live on earth because of what is there in our surroundings plants, animals, soil, air, water and sunlight. Our environment consists of both living and non-living things. The four spheres of the earth are Hydrosphere Atmosphere Lithosphere Biosphere All water bodies, oceans and seas makes up hydrosphere. Atmosphere is blanket of air made up of gases. Lithosphere is the outermost solid surface earth that made up of solid rocks and soil. Biosphere include all component air, water and land. Water is essential for all living things. The word hydro means water and the hydrosphere includes all the water present on the earth's surface oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, groundwater, as well as the water frozen in glaciers and on mountains. Water on Earth is always moving. Water constantly changes its form due to evaporation, condensation and precipitation. During the daytime, the sun rays heat up the water from the water bodies such as rivers, lakes, oceans and it changes it to water vapor and rises up into the atmosphere. This process is known as evaporation. When it reaches the sky, it cools down and changes back to water droplets. This process is known as condensation. When the water droplets cannot be retained by the clouds and they fall on the surface of the earth in the form of rain. It is known as precipitation. Rainwater again flows back into oceans, seas and rivers and goes up again. The cycle continues. This movement of water is known as the water cycle. The atmosphere is a blanket of air made up of gases. A number of gases in various proportions are present in the atmosphere. A number of gases in various proportions are present in the atmosphere. Nitrogen is an essential building block for amino acids, proteins and DNA. Plant growth depends on it. Animals and people get it from eating plants or other animals. Nitrogen gas makes up 78% of the air. About 21% of Earth's atmosphere is oxygen. Oxygen plays a critical role in respiration, the energy-producing chemistry that drives the metabolisms of most living things. We humans, along with many other creatures, need oxygen in the air we breathe to stay alive. Carbon dioxide is one of the most important greenhouse gases linked to global warming, but it is a minor component of Earth's atmosphere. Hydrogen is a colorless, odorless, tasteless, flammable gaseous substance that is the simplest members of the family of chemical elements. Both are found in traces. The rare gases, also known as the noble gases, are a group of six gaseous elements found in small amounts in the atmosphere, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Collectively they make up about 1% of the Earth's atmosphere. The most important gas for our survival is oxygen. Living things breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Plants use this carbon dioxide for making their food giving out oxygen. Layers of Earth's atmosphere are divided into five different layers as. Troposphere is the lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere. The troposphere starts at the surface of the Earth and goes up to a height of 7 to 20 km. All the weather and climatic conditions occurs within this layer. This layer has water vapor and mature particles. Temperature decreases at the rate of 1 degree Celsius for every 165 meter of height. Stratosphere is the second layer of the atmosphere found above the troposphere. 
it extends up to 50 km of height. This layer is very dry as it contains little water vapor. It provides some advantages for flight because it is above stormy weather and has steady, strong, horizontal winds. The ozone layer is present in this layer. Mesosphere is found above the stratosphere. It is the coldest of the atmospheric layers. The mesosphere starts at 50 km above the surface of Earth and goes up to 85 km. The temperature drops with altitude in this layer. Thermosphere is found above mesopause from 80 to 400 km. Radio waves that are transmitted from the Earth are reflected by this layer. The temperature increases as the height increases. Exosphere is the outermost layer of the atmosphere. The zone where molecules and atoms escape into space is mentioned as the exosphere. It extends from the top of the thermosphere up to 10,000 km. The atmosphere also acts as a protective filter by preventing the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun from reaching the Earth's surface. These rays are harmful for most living beings. The ozone layer of the atmosphere blocks a large portion of these rays and reflects them back into space. The outermost solid surface of the Earth that is made up of solid rocks and this oil is known as the lithosphere. Lithosphere is the thinnest layer of the Earth and is also known as the crust. Below the lithosphere, there are two more layers the mantle and the core. The mantle is the middle layer which is thicker than the crust but thinner than the core. Mantle is found below the continents and under the oceans. As we go deep inside the earth, it gets hotter and hotter and the pressure increases. Core is the innermost layer which has two parts outer core and inner core. The outer core is liquid and the inner core is solid. All the natural resources of the earth such as oil, gas and minerals are found in the lithosphere. The soil, land masses and ocean floor are also a part of the lithosphere. The biosphere consists of those parts of the atmosphere, lithosphere and hydrosphere, where life exists. As living organisms cannot survive without air, water and land, therefore the biosphere includes all these three components of the earth. Life exists on land, in air and even in deep ocean. Each of these living beings exist in their habitat which is their natural environment. This environment of each living species which consists of living and non-living things is known as ecosystem. An ecosystem may be small as a little pond or a burrow or as vast as the ocean or a forest. For example a little green patch besides grass will have other small plants, insects, worms, soil, water etc. Thanks for watching. Visit our channel now for your better understanding. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel.